In 2019, a study led by Dr. Kenneth Rosenberg found that North America has lost the equivalent of approximately one in four birds since 1970. In 2021, a study led by conservation scientist Fiona Burns found similar declines in Europe, one in five birds. What has been causing this? What are some of the impacts? And what are some of the solutions to be more bird friendly? Where did all the birds go? Rosenberg's study found that since 1970, North America has lost a net of 2.9 billion birds across the continent. The study evaluated population changes over 500 species across continental North America, with the greatest losses occurring in grasslands, boreal and western forests. The only habitat to not see a decline were wetlands. Not all species were affected equally. While the majority of species saw an abundance decline, Waterfowl, turkeys, grouse, and raptors, among others, saw an increase in population, largely due to conservation efforts aimed at protecting these species and their habitats. The birds being hit hardest include sparrows, swallows, wood warblers, and blackbirds, but in total, just over half of all North American species are experiencing population declines. By far the biggest bird killers are cats. Domesticated cats kill on average 2 billion birds per year in North America. Other significant causes of bird mortality include the use of pesticides, rodenticides, and herbicides, building and vehicle collisions, as well as habitat loss and fragmentation. Why does it matter? Birds play a vital role in ecosystems across the continent. Hummingbirds and others pollinate plants. Many birds also eat and disperse seeds through their droppings, helping to regenerate habitats. Some bird species, like woodpeckers, bore holes which other animals can use as shelter. Birds also provide important sanitation services to ecosystems by cleaning up carrion, or in this case, roadkill. There are also economic benefits to having birds around. Ali Hadar Ali, who works for Nature Canada's Bird Friendly City program, explains. We rely on birds for a variety of things. When we're talking about climate change, right, one of the best ways or one way to mitigate climate change is uh, tree planting, right? Birds are great at seed dispersal. Uh, they're, you know, helpful in automatically regenerating forests. Uh, they're great at pest control. When we're talking about pests that decimate uh, forests, when we talk about pests that gypsy moth was a thing in uh, our part of uh, the country uh, recently, this huge boom, uh, there, are bird uh, there are bird species that can uh, uh, prey on uh, the larvae of these moths and get rid of them. How to be more bird friendly. The good news is that most of the biggest causes of bird deaths are preventable. Keeping cats indoors is by far the biggest difference anyone with a feline friend can make to be more bird friendly. Cats are an invasive species and their presence threatens native species like birds. It's also worth noting that in the city of Calgary there are bylaws prohibiting outdoor cats. So if your cats are roaming, not only is it potentially harming birds, it's also illegal and can cost you up to $1,500. Window strikes kill millions of birds per year. Birds perceive glass differently from humans and may mistake glass as a clear passageway or see foliage reflecting in the glass and think it's real. Luckily, a variety of window stickers and UV clings that birds can see are available to purchase online and at bird stores. Or you can draw on your windows. If you have kids or if you yourself are artistic, just pick up a pen and have fun on your windows and you can still see outside it's not gonna obstruct your view but it allows those birds to see that they could that there's a barrier there and making sure windows are visible to birds is especially important along wetlands rivers and migration routes as well as near feeders so get drawing to save the birds furthermore if you have feeders make sure they are either less than three feet from glass or further than 10 feet away to make sure accidental collisions are less likely and less dangerous if you do find a bird that has unfortunately died from a window collision, you can report it to the Calgary Migratory Species Response Team so that they can study and learn from that collision for the future. Another significant cause of bird declines is the use of pesticides, herbicides, and rodenticides. While the city itself has strict restrictions on its pesticide and herbicide use to reduce harm, there are fewer restrictions as to what can be used on an individual's property. Regardless where these products are sprayed, they can be lethal to birds or kill insects that birds need to thrive. 
It may seem counterintuitive, but when a lot of pesticides are used, they kill off vital food sources, and when there's no food, there's no animal exterminators, which makes it possible for pests to proliferate. Sarah Jordan McLaughlin, a member of Bird Friendly Calgary and the Calgary Migratory Species Response Team, recommends a more holistic approach to pest control to be more bird friendly by planting native plant species and swapping yard space for native plant gardens when possible. Native habitat that allows for predatory insects that can help get rid of the insects you don't want in your yard, or making your yard bird friendly that encourages the birds to come and again mitigate those pests that maybe you don't want in your yard. Um, by using native plants, you have a greater opportunity to kind of um, create a habitat that's less conducive to weeds. So if you can get those native plants that will thrive in your conditions, they can basically crowd out the weeds in that area and help you reduce the need for pesticides. Bird populations are seeing declines globally, and many of the causes are human. But there are things we can all do to be more bird friendly. For the Calgary Journal, I'm Taylor Holmes.